Oh. Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today I wasn't really planning on recording a feeding video, but between having a lot of loud crickets that I just want to get rid of, and also I forgot I have plans tomorrow, and I don't think I could really get another video done on time if I didn't do a feeding video just because they're really quick. Um, I'm cutting all of this out probably because you don't care about that, or maybe I'm going to leave it in because maybe you should care about that. Do you ever think of other people? The intro sucks, so if you're still watching, thanks, let's feed tarantulas now. <laughs> So yeah, we're actually going to be feeding mostly slings today or juveniles because my large tarantulas are still pretty full from the previous hornworm feeding video we did. So yeah, we're going to be feeding these stinky loud crickets. Let's go ahead and start with one of my favorites, one that I know is going to eat. This is a Pamphibedius species. And as you see, they recently molted. Sorry, I feel like I'm still nasally. I'm getting over something. Yeah, I'm much better, but I just feel like I still sound weird or maybe I do don't and I'm over analyzing. So anyway, here's a cricket. Let's uh, feed it to this one and see what happens. Ready, set, building anticipation, go. Ah! <laughs> nice. So next up we have my Lazadora Parabana and they are trying to hide right here. This is one that I have raised from a teeny sling and I think we're gonna have to rehouse it soon. Let's see if they will take a cricket that is actually like quite larger than them. I think I'm just scaring them. I just heard a cricket get eaten, but we didn't see it. That's okay, we got plenty to go. <laughs> Next, we will do my Brachypilma Hamori, my sling. I'm giving them big meals today just because I like to uh, keep them plump. That was quite the yoink. I was not expecting it. Awesome. Okay, who is next? Um, we could do these. These are all some pretty small slings that I have that are finally, finally like an inch or so. Even though they don't look like much, just keep in mind I've had them since they were like super duper tiny. So this is an A. Samani, and she actually will take pretty large crickets. Just watch how fearless this one is. Okay, this is this cricket's like as big as her. Oh yeah, we're also gonna be just like doing a few little spray downs as we go along, just because it's easier to get them done at the same time. All right, we got a T. sabulosum under here. So let's see. Oh, this is a T. verdesi. We're gonna do a bigger one today. Hey, 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 slow down. Okay, we're not gonna do a bigger one today. <laughs> All right, B. Amelia. I can't believe how quickly some of these have grown. Like they're actually showing color, it's insane. Okay, not really interested, that's fine. Peace as am I. I know somebody recently asked me if I have any experience with peace, experience with peace as am I. This is one that I have actually had, like it was one of my first tarantulas. When I first got it, it was like when for some reason peace as am I was like a newer, more trendy thing. Like people were seeking them out a lot. And so I was fortunate enough to grab one. Oh, my little jumping spider's back outside. Yeah, my window's kind of dirty. I think it's eat, actually eating something. Or it's, nope, it's just cleaning itself. Getting distracted when I still have like all this to feed. Actually, that's not that much, but. Okay, anyway, peace as am I. Really cool species, but not like typically the quickest to eat. We'll see though. It's like one of the... Oh, you want it? No, you don't want it?
Hmm, she is quite plump and possibly in pre-molt, so I'm actually not gonna leave this little guy in there because I don't think she's going to eat him today. But yeah, I love this species actually. This is a really cool species and I feel like people don't really talk about them as much anymore. Okay, moving on, let's do, ooh, where are you? Sling Emurinus or skeleton leg. So the best I can do is just kind of dangle it over the hole and see if it comes out. All right. Hey, shh. So this one is Nyx, and she is my Grandma Stola Porteri, or Rose Hair Tarantula. She was actually my second tarantula, and I know she's tiny. She was even much more tiny when I got her, but she is turning into quite the little ferocious uh, eater over here. Let me see if we will do a big one today. Oh, that is like the tiniest threat pose I think I've ever seen. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> For a rose hair, that was not bad at all. Wow. Okay, so this is my Carabina Versicolor. Well, it was, she's now hiding. Girl. So never mind. We're, I'm just gonna cut this out because we're not gonna see her, but I'm still gonna feed her. So. So next we are going to be feeding my Acanthoscuria geniculata. This is one that I feel like you guys haven't seen in forever, but she was also one of my very first tarantulas. Awesome. Look at her, oh my gosh. I love this species. I think this is such a cool species. So we have six left, but fortunately they are all pretty sizable ones. Oh, this one is cool. This is my tea apothesis, and this one molts like crazy. I don't know where you went. Like I just saw it out. So I know it's hungry, but it just got like really shy as soon as it saw me pull it out. I don't know, let's see if we can get this little monster out. Oh, well at least you guys saw a foot, but don't think that this one hides all the time because I actually see this one out all the time and I really enjoy this one. Like it's doubled in size since I unboxed it. So, all right, this is my kind of mystery one. This is a Euthalus species parda. Not sure if it's really that or what the name is. I think scientifically they have changed the name of it a couple times, leaving me with a mystery tarantula. But anyway, let's feed it. Very nice. And its booty is looking a little small. It molted not too long ago, so I'm gonna go ahead and drop in. Oh. You know what, you can just save that one for later. Oh, that one just ran and hide, hid. I don't know if you guys can see this that well. So this is my D. diamantinensis. There she is. I hate how she's being shy right now because she molted and she is like in insane colors. But yeah, this is why I don't really feed the little ones on camera as much also because they are like really difficult to film. They just run and hide so much. Okay, so she did get it. I mean, this isn't doing the most justice, but you can definitely see what I mean about her color. Her green, she has like a very green carapace, an orange abdomen, and her legs are like a super duper bright blue. Man, it'd be cool if we could get this one on camera. This is my blue fang. Man, it is so hard to see inside of this burrow. It's just all webbed up like crazy, but see right down here, there's a little something something. So we're gonna try to get that blue fang on camera today. Why was I not ready for that? I'm so, oh my God, I'm too jumpy for this. Oh, you can see those blue fangs though. Oh my gosh. That's crazy.
Oh, we are getting the bomb. There's the bomb. She is shutting the door. She is telling us that we are not welcome there. Oh, but it's such a pretty bomb. I just kind of want to look at it. <gasps> so cool. So cool. I love this species. Oh, I'm so glad we got that on camera. See, like there's so many really cool, beautiful tarantulas I have. It's just you don't really see them. You know, they're hard to film. They're hiding a lot. Who are you? Oh, this is my Esperobronitans. This is another I've had for like ever. For some reason I haven't shown you guys, but it's gotten huge. So let's try this. Oh, that's frustrating. Thank you for the butt shot. It's blurry and dark, but I'm sure, yeah, all right. One more, one more, we're, we're almost done. Okay, so this is my M. robusta, and right there is its little feet. It's actually burrowed, so highly unlikely it's gonna come out to eat, but I still have to feed it anyway, like. Okay, well. You know what, just... Okay, all right, you kind of saw it. A little bit, it, it could have been worse. It could, definitely could have been worse. Give that a nice spray. So yeah, that's everyone I actually wanted to end this with. <laughs> Bowser, hello. Yeah, thank you guys so much for all your support on my previous video. He's actually like doing really well. I, I actually got him um, a new light. I got him a, a mercury vapor bulb and then his um, filter is off right now. But yeah, I've been doing like little water changes with him a lot. And like, look at him, oh my gosh, he's so cute. He's eating crickets. He's been tongue feeding really well and just like actually like doing really good. So I'm super duper happy about that. Hi, I'm sorry. He's over it. He's probably like, why is my filter turned off? Still don't know exactly what I'm going to do with him, but for now he's here and he's doing great. So yeah. Anyway, um, oh, and my C Versi color, she wouldn't come out. There she is. She's eating, so that's good. Um, I need to rehouse her soon for a video, so you can probably expect a rehousing video in the near future. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Like it if you did, subscribe if you're not, and, and you want to be. My hands all turtle watery, ew. Don't forget I'm an Instagram that is probably way too much as at tarantula.cat. You can go follow me there. I also have a Patreon podcast and a Teespring. It is all linked down below, and I will see you guys soon. Let's get into the Patreon pet picks.